In this video, you'll rethink your fundamental assumptions about AI. Artificial intelligence will be the characterizing innovation of things to come. As of now, AI is quickly overrunning all degrees of society. People resolutely carry AI into their homes to assist them with getting sorted out their day-by-day -day lives. City boards and enterprises utilize AI to help improve their administrations. And states exploit AI to attempt huge scope observation and social designing efforts. Yet, as AI turns out to be more canny, and our social frameworks come increasingly more to rely upon, the danger introduced by crazy AI turns out to be more desperate. The risks and drawbacks of new technologies are far too often ignored as scientists and engineers focus on their feverish quest to realize future utopias. Truth be told, numerous AI specialists and corporate high-ups even minimize the dangers of AI out of dread of being all the more carefully directed. These chapters attempt to cure this imbalance. The subject of how to control AI and moderate its more appalling outcomes is the greatest inquiry confronting mankind today, and it's decisively this inquiry we'll investigate. In these chapters, you'll learn how the present supercomputers contrast with the human brain, what an incredible old ruler show us about current AI, and why computerized weapons innovation is making life more uncertain for everyone. We need a few advancements in programming before AI outperforms human intelligence. The present PCs can deal with data at shocking paces. In any case, even as right on time as the 1950s, PCs were being promoted as super brains that are quicker than Einstein. Obviously, PCs in those days had nothing on the human brain. Be that as it may, we actually thought about the two, truth be told. From the earliest starting point of software engineering, we'd in general quantify computational knowledge and progress against human insight. Anyway, what might be said about the present PCs? Some of them without a doubt, can give us a run for our cash. The main message here is, we need a few advancements in programming before AI outperforms human intelligence. The quickest PC on the planet today is the Summit Machine. Housed at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the US, contrasted with the world's first business PC. The Ferranti Mark I, the Summit Machine is 1,000 trillion times quicker and has 150 trillion times more memory. That is a lot of zeros. As far as crude figuring power, the Summit machine entirely surpasses the human mind, in spite of the fact that it requires a distribution center loaded with equipment and multiple times more energy. All things considered, it's noteworthy. Yet, would we be able to say that the present supercomputers, the Summit machine included, are just about as amazing as the human mind? The appropriate response is a firm no. Of course, these PCs have noteworthy equipment, which permits their calculations to work quicker and measure more data. Be that as it may, there's definitely more to insight than simply handling speed. The genuine issue in planning insight is in the product. As of now, we actually need a few significant theoretical discoveries in AI programming before we witness anything taking after human-level man-made consciousness. The main advancement we need is in the appreciation of language. The greater part of the present canny discourse acknowledgement AI depends on canned reactions and experience difficulty deciphering subtleties and significance. That is the reason you get accounts of cell phone individual aides reacting to the solicitation consider me an emergency vehicle with all right. From now into the foreseeable future, I'll call you an ambulance. Genuinely wise AI should decipher significance put together with respect to the words said as well as on their unique circumstance and tone also. We can never truly say when theoretical achievements will happen. In any case, one thing's without a doubt, we shouldn't belittle human creativity. Think about the accompanying model. In 1933, the recognized atomic physicist Ernest Rutherford reported at a proper location that bridling thermal power was unthinkable. The following day, the Hungarian physicist Leo Szilard plotted the neutron-prompted atomic chain response, basically taking care of the issue. We don't yet know whether genius, insight past human capacities, will arise soon, later, or not under any condition. In any case, it's as yet reasonable to play it safe, similarly as it was when planning atomic innovation, We've been working under a misinformed origination of knowledge. On the off chance that we don't treat AI with an alert, we may wind up like the gorilla. Simply think about that. On account of human-caused environment misfortune, each gorilla species today is fundamentally jeopardized, without a doubt. In ongoing many years, preservation endeavors have effectively pulled a few animal varieties back from the verge of elimination. In any case, Regardless of whether gorilla numbers diminish or flourish, their destiny relies to a great extent upon the impulses of people. The worry is that in a world constrained by incredibly smart AI, we'd be in a much similar situation as the gorillas. Would humans be able to keep up in comparability and self-rule in this present reality where they rate runner-up to more canny creatures? Fortunately, 
There's one significant contrast between us and the gorillas, we're the ones planning this new insight. It's fundamental that we take extraordinary alert by the way we plan keen AI in case we're to guarantee they stay under our influence. Be that as it may, we have a pivotal issue. The main message here is, we've been working under a misinformed origination of knowledge and the current worldview of AI plans. An eye's insight is estimated basically by how well it can accomplish a pre-given goal. The large imperfection in this methodology is that it's incredibly hard to determine destinations that will cause an AI to act the manner in which we need it to. Essentially any target we think of is obligated to deliver eccentric and possibly extremely unsafe conduct. This issue is known as the King Midas issue, named after the mythical lord who wanted that all that he contacted would go to gold. What he didn't understand was that this incorporated the food he ate, and even his own relatives. This ancient story is a prime example of how a poorly defined goal can end up causing more harm than good. The risk from flighty conduct increments as AI turns out to be more shrewd and uses more prominent force. The outcomes could even present an existential danger to humankind. For instance, we may ask a hyper-genius AI to discover a solution for disease just for it to begin providing individuals with malignancy to investigate them. You may be pondering. In case we're not content with what an eye is doing, for what reason don't we simply kill the impacted thing? Shockingly, for by far most of the destinations, an AI would have an impetus not to permit itself to be killed. That is on the grounds that being killed would undermine its goal. Indeed, even obviously direct targets like make an espresso would let an AI to keep itself from being killed. All things considered, you can't make espresso in case you're dead, rather than simply insightful machines. We ought to be planning advantageous machines. Until now, the mantra among AI researchers has been, the more intelligent the better. In any case, is this truly the thing what they should be chanting? As we've quite recently seen, an AI given an imprudently expressed target can wind up participating in exceptionally unsafe conduct. Also, it's very little relief if the AI takes part in hurtful conduct astutely, regardless, it exacerbates it. What we need is an alternate mantra, one that expects to fabricate AI that will remain tuned to human destinations. Regardless, the new mantra ought to be. The more beneficial the better. The main message here is, rather than simply insightful machines, we ought to be planning advantageous machines. There are three rules that fashioners ought to follow in the event that they're to make helpful AI. The main standard is that AI should just have one target, which is the maximal satisfaction of human inclinations. The creator calls this the philanthropy guideline. It guarantees an AI will consistently put human inclinations over its own. The subsequent standard is that the AI ought to at first be dubious about what those inclinations are. This is the humbleness standard. The thought here is that an unsure AI won't ever focus on a solitary target, yet will change its concentration as new data comes in. Dubious AI frameworks would be more mindful and bound to concede to people, being dubious. An AI will constantly look for explaining data. This implies they'll regularly request authorization, request input, and may even do preliminary attempts to test human responses. Furthermore, critically, dubious AI will permit themselves to be killed, this is on the grounds that it would decipher a human attempting to turn it off as having the inclination that it be killed. The third and last standard for making gainful AI is that their definitive wellspring of data about human inclinations ought to be human conduct. This is known as the learning standard. It guarantees that an AI will consistently stay in an immediate and supported relationship of learning with people. It implies an AI will turn out to be more helpful to an individual over the long run as it becomes acquainted with her better. These three standards address an elective comprehension of what certified insight includes. The capacity to examine and reclassify one's own targets considering new data. Artificial intelligence with this sort of knowledge would be a lot nearer to human insight since we're additionally fit for analyzing and modifying the objectives that we endeavor towards. What's more, if AI could change its targets considering human inclinations, we would have the reason for a revolutionary new connection among people and machines, one in which machine and human destinations are basically the equivalent. We can anticipate that AI should profit from numerous points of view. It's been accounted for that some virtual home colleagues, unfit to separate who's conversing with them, have been submitting orders to purchase items that they've caught on the TV, unmistakably. Remote helpers aren't exactly ingenious yet. In any case, this will change. Remote helper innovation is improving by a wide margin, thanks to some degree to enormous ventures from the private area. The explanation behind such extraordinary interest in this innovation is that the scope of assignments remote helpers could perform is apparently limitless. We're not simply looking at making shopping records and turning the sound system on. We're looking at playing out crafted by profoundly gifted subject matter experts. The main message here is, 
We can anticipate that AI should profit from numerous points of view. Virtual legal counselors. For instance, areas of now incomprehensibly outflanking genuine attorneys at sourcing legitimate data rapidly. Additionally, virtual specialists are beating human specialists at giving the right analyses to diseases in the long run. There might be no requirement for experts by any means. Rather, we'll all have our own. Across the board specialist, attorney, instructor, monetary consultant, and secretary in our pockets, accessible if the need arises, 24 hours every day. Because of remote helpers, these crucial administrations will be democratized, not, at this point open just to the rich, consequently increasing the expectation of living for everyone. The advantage of AI to logical exploration will likewise be enormous. An AI with even fundamental perusing understanding abilities would have the option to peruse everything humankind has ever composed among breakfast and noon. By correlation, it would take to 100,000 people perusing full-time just to stay aware of the world's present degree of distribution, with the assistance of hyper-savvy AI. Researchers will at this point don't need to figure out massive measures of distributed exploration, as AI will have the option to separate and examine the pertinent information for them. Incredibly smart AI will likewise have worldwide applications, by gathering data from observation cameras and satellites. We ought to anticipate that AI should be utilized to make an accessible data set of the whole world continuously. From this information, we could create models of worldwide frameworks, for example, monetary movement and natural changes. These models would make it achievable to plan compelling mediations into these frameworks, causing us to, for instance, moderate the impacts of environmental change. Be that as it may, the potential for security infringement suggested by an arrangement of worldwide observing is self-evident. This prompts our next chapter, which handles the more obscure side of AI that we as a whole need to prepare for. Artificial intelligence will make life less secure for everybody. The Stasi of previous East Germany were quite possibly the best and severe inside offices actually to have existed. They kept records on most of the East German families, tuning into their calls, perusing their letters, and in any event, setting shrouded cameras inside their homes. This was completely done by people and composed on paper, requiring a tremendous organization and huge stockpiling units containing in a real sense billions of actual paper records. Simply envision how the Stasi might have managed AI. With hyper-savvy AI, it is conceivable to screen everybody's calls and messages naturally. Individuals' everyday developments could likewise be followed. Utilizing observation cameras and satellite information, it would be like each individual had their own usable watching over them 24 hours every day. The main message here is, artificial intelligence will make life less secure for everybody. Artificial intelligence could prompt yet different oppressed worlds. This incorporates the infapocalypse, the disastrous disappointment of the commercial center of thoughts to deliver reality. Incredibly smart AI will be equipped for assembling and dispersing bogus data with no human info. They'll additionally have the option to target explicit people, adjusting their data diet deliberately to control their conduct with careful precision, to a huge degree. This is as of now occurring. Content determination calculations utilized by web-based media stages, apparently intended to foresee individuals' inclinations, wind up changing those inclinations by giving them just a tight choice of substance, time by time. This implies clients are pushed to turn out to be increasingly more outrageous in their political perspectives, ostensibly. Even these simple types of man-made brainpower have just caused incredible damage, settling in social division and multiplying scorn. While the infapocalypse is as yet in its baby stage, the following oppressed world is really taking shape. This is the condition of consistent dread brought about via self-ruling weapons innovation, self-governing weapons. Machines that search out and kill focuses without anyone else have just been created. Such weapons recognize targets dependent on data like skin tone, uniform, or even accurate face prints. Smaller than usual robots called butcher bots are as of now being prepared to look for find, and kill explicit people. In 2016, the US aviation-based armed forces exhibited the sending of 103 ButcherBot drones. They portrayed the robots as a solitary organic entity sharing one appropriated cerebrum. Similar to a multitude in nature, the US is just one of numerous countries right now constructing, or previously utilizing, mechanized weapon innovation, as self-sufficient weapons come to dislodge regular human fighting. The entirety of our lives will turn out to be less secure, since anybody will be targetable, regardless of where they are on the planet. Mass mechanization will either free mankind's latent capacity or cripple it. We've recently seen three frightening situations that could be brought about by AI. In any case, 
We haven't yet thought about what is maybe the most stressful and socially damaging danger from AI, mechanization. Mechanization may well concede more individuals' admittance to significant administrations like medical care and legitimate counsel. However, it could likewise cause far and wide joblessness. Precisely the amount of a danger this is available to discuss. Positive thinkers bring up that in each past modern insurgency. Mechanization created at any rate however many positions as it killed, on the off chance that you take a look at the evidence. Nonetheless, it shows that in the course of recent years, occupations have fallen altogether in each industry that has actualized robotization innovation. All in all, would it be advisable for us to be stressed? The main message here is, mass mechanization will either free mankind's latent capacity or cripple it, truly. Over the long haul, AI is probably going to robotize away practically all current human work. This won't just influence low-talented work like truck driving. As we saw before, even exceptionally talented experts like specialists, attorneys, and bookkeepers are in danger, anyway. When a machine replaces your work, what will you have left to sell? All things considered, very little. Yet, imagine a scenario where you didn't have to sell anything. Imagine a scenario where we could allow machines to accomplish all the work and still ensure we as a whole had enough to live by. One approach to do this may be to organize a widespread essential payer UV. A UV would give each grown-up individual a sensible month-to-month -month pay paying little heed to the situation. The individuals who need to procure more would be allowed to work. If there's any accessible, however, for every other person, freed from the need to make money, they would be allowed to seek after anything they desire. This is a rosy picture, right? Be that as it may, would this situation truly be an ideal world? In the event that all work, learning and endeavoring towards ability obtaining were taken over by machines, wouldn't we become less than creatures? This is an authentic concern. Up to this point, the best way to support our progress has been to pass information, starting with one human then on to the next and over progressive ages. As innovation creates, we progressively hand that information and aptitude over to a machine that can do the undertaking for us. When we lose the down-to-earth impetus to pass information on to different people, that information and ability will wilt, in case we're not cautious. We could turn into an enfeebled species, totally subject to the machines that apparently serve us. Final summary. The main message in these chapters. The manner in which we right now plan AI is generally imperfect. We're planning AI to be astute yet not really to have humankind's eventual benefits on a fundamental level. We thus need to make the satisfaction of human objectives eyes just unbiased. On the off chance that we can effectively control ingenious AI. We'd have the option to saddle its huge ability to propel our progress and free mankind from subjugation. In any case, if we come up short, we're at risk of losing our self-governance, as we become progressively subject to the impulses of an unrivaled knowledge. You like what you hear? Check out other personal development or business books. This video was made possible by your support. It takes a very long time to make one of our videos. So thanks to your contributions to Patreon and watching our videos, we are slowly able to do more and more of them. If you want to help us out, check out the Patreon page. If you like the contents of this video, check out other books in the description and suggest what book we should cover next.